We're here with the one and only Stefan from, uh, from Santacom. And we got the new product, which is a really amazing product um, that came out in the lining industry. Want to tell us a little bit about the, uh, how the IR is different than traditional lead or UV curing? Yeah, so let's start first with, uh, with the pack device himself. So um, here we have infrared, that is not UV, this is, um, um, how can I say, infrared. That means we are giving energy into the material and this starts to create temperature. With UV and other systems, you give the energy on the surface and then it has to go into the material. Here we are able to go um, in the thickness up to five centimeters. With UV, it is just a few millimeters where you go into the material. So you get deeper penetration with this uh, technology. Yes. And um, it is also, when we have uh, the infrared light, it is not dangerous. So you can easily look at it without any um, effect on your eyes. I see a lot of guys using the UV, no protection at all, which is, it's as very, a side, very dangerous. not good. Yes, cancerous and terrible. So this is, yeah. this is good to know that this is a very safe product to work with. Yeah. And, um, yeah, as we show here now, this is a, the, the packer for short liner system. And um, we have the silicon bladder and inside the uh, infrared uh, light. We don't need a lot of power because we have here just a control unit. Um, we are working here with about 25 volts and uh, around about 5 ampere. That's, that's the entire unit for this system. Yeah, this is no big compressor. We have, else. we have just a very small compressor because we just need to inflate the packer and the air stays in it. We have no air flow in it. We right. don't need to cool down anything. Right. Because um, this light is creating not much temperature. Yeah. So you have basically three systems. You have the short liner to do patches. You have also the T, you could do a T packer. Um, as well, and yeah, right over there, the T packer, also with the IR. Yeah. And then you're going to have for lining as well. Uh, with the hose. With the with hose, the, the whole entire hose lights up. Yeah. So you could do the entire liner at once. And there is a, the the big advantage with this hose, which we push in, or we install the liner, including the hose. So we pull in the hose by the installation. Yeah. Then we start to cure direct on every place in the pipe. That yeah. means this hose stays in it. We have the energy on every place in the pipe. It doesn't matter how long the pipe is. Yeah. So, um, and then the effect of infrared is that we are create, like I told you before, we create the energy in the material. And this is going not like spot on. It is, uh, the curve is going slowly up. And then it cures in a in a longer wave. This is a very this is a very important this part right here with that wave over there. Yeah. Um, it cures in the longer wave, and then um, you cure to 100 percent with infrared uh, with, uh, with with UV for example. You cure the 100 percent just in the first few millimeters, yeah. but not outside. Okay. This will cure whenever. Yeah. But we cure direct 100% of the material. So you have 100% through the material, and also the curve is not as steep. So when you have like these flash cures, as opposed to this technology, which is not a flash cure, it's, it's uh, not as steep, it's going to give a better end result and prevent shrinkage. Yes. So we will have no shrinkage. We will yeah. still stick to the pipe. And okay, it is also important. We use epoxy resin. Epoxy resin. Okay, it's a special performed epoxy resin. The resin base is, um, has some, um, um, some things in it where the infrared reacts better with it. Mm -hmm. And we use a, still the same hardness as you use for the normal epoxy, right. for our normal epoxy. That means we don't change anything in pot life, we don't change anything in, in, in the performance and handling. will be still the same. And you have the advantage, you can do the curing with infrared, you can do the curing with um, steam or hot water, or yep. also ambient. It right. will cure still ambient. Right. And so, so once again, so also the setup time is much quicker because you're not hauling the, you know, the big compressors and the big units. Once again, it's, it's 
what you're looking at is what this system involves. This, this packer over here, that unit over there, a very simple power supply, yeah. um, and a very regular compressor, and that's all it is. And we keep it as simple as possible, so you, you don't need to change anything in your, yeah. in your handling. Yep. That makes life much more easy. And um, yeah, awesome. and it's still up to you how you want to, to, to do the curing. Very good. Thank you very much once again. It's Stefan, uh, the one and only for Santacom. Take care, guys. Nice to meet you. <laughs>